Hello students, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about different types of operating systems. So basically, we have more than eight types of operating systems that are very important for our college level examinations. So in this video, we will cover only four most expected types that includes batch operating system, multi-programming, multi-processing and multi-tasking operating systems. So we will discuss every type in detail with some real life examples so that it will be easily understood to all of you right other than these four we have some more types that we will discuss in next video that is network operating system real time time sharing and distributed operating system right so before moving to the session you should know what is the meaning of operating system so an os manages all the applications and programs in a computer and it is loaded into a computer Whenever we want to load an operating system in a computer, we load it by what? By boot programs. Okay, so this is how we upload, we load an operating system. And also it enables application to interact with the computer hardware. Operating system is nothing but it is an interface between user and the computer hardware. Without operating system, it is not possible for a student, it is not possible for a user to interact with your computer system, right? So let's move to the batch operating system first. So it is first operating system for second generation computer. So you should know what is second generation computer. In second generation computer, batch operating system is our first type of operating system. This does not directly interact with the computer. Instead, an operator takes up similar jobs and groups them together into some batches. Okay. So in case of batch operating system, our task is divided into different sessions or different batches right and uh, this type of operating system does not directly contact or does not directly interact with our computer system and these batches are executed one by one based on first come first serve principles so first come first serve principle ke basis par hi batch operating system basically kaam karta hai for example this is our operating system this is our general computer system suppose i have 10 processes taken in a queue okay so first process that capture this space in the uh, queue will definitely get the operating system first after this the second process third process last process okay this is the meaning of first come first serve so in batch processing operating system access is given to more than one person they submit their respective jobs to system for the execution right so access to what access to the operating system or access to the processor is given to one or more person at a time. The purpose of this operating system was mainly to transfer control from one job to another as soon as job was completed. Let's say my first job is P1. Okay, first job is allocated to this operating system. As soon as my first job P1 is completed, it will, will automatically move to the process P2. Our our operating system will automatically shift it towards process P2. As soon as process P2 get completed, our operating system will automatically move to process P3 or P4 that is in the queue, right? So it contained a small set of programs called the resident monitor that always reside in one part of the main memory. As we have discussed, batch processing does not directly interact with the system. It always makes use of resident monitor that, that is always resided in one part of the main memory. Okay, and it always follow one principle that is first come, first serve. Now let's move to some advantages and disadvantages of using batch operating system. First point is execution time taken for similar job is higher. Let's say I have two jobs process P1 and P2. These two jobs will take 10 seconds to get executed. Okay. So execution time of these two processes will take some higher time as compared to other operating systems. Another advantage is multiple users can share batch system. As we have discussed earlier, 
you can see here multiple users multiple persons can use this processing also managing large work becomes easy in this type of system and the ideal time yani ki the free time for a single batch is very less when we make use of batch operating system but with these advantages of using batch operating system we have some disadvantages also that include it is hard to debug batch system suppose in my batch operating system some bugs are there so it is very difficult it becomes very hard to debug or to remove these bugs from the operating system if a job fails for example my process p2 is in processing okay is using the cpu right now so if the job fails then other jobs have to wait for an unknown time till the issue is resolved so for example example of some uh, operating system batch operating systems are payroll system you all know about payroll systems if you don't know you can comment below i will definitely reply you okay you should all know about bank statements all these are the examples of batch operating systems right i hope the everything is clear till now one more disadvantage i would like to i would like to add here is batch operating system use starvation starvation is what it always suffers from starvation this is important point and no interaction is there in between different jobs next type we have is multi -pro multi programming operating system so multi programming is what on a single processor computer let's say my computer has only one processor okay on a single processor computer a multi programming operating system can run many programs with the help of one processor we can run n number of programs simultaneously when we use multi programming operating systems if one program must wait for an input output transfer the other programs are ready to use the cpu and as a result different jobs may have to split cpu time in case of multi programming operating system what you can do is what our operating system do is it split the cpu time in different jobs in different jobs so that no process will wait for more than some seconds okay other than this multi process multi programming is an extension to batch processing where cpu is always kept busy each process need two types of system first is cpu time and input output time this statement is very important most frequently asked question is from the statement that in multi programming operating system each process needs two types of system time first is they want a cpu ka time and another is they want input output time in a multi programming environment when a process does its input output the cpu can start the execution of the another program therefore multi programming improves efficiency of the system okay so this is what this is an advantage of using multi programming system so throughout the system if we talk about multi programming it increase the cpu that always has one process to execute our cpu is always busy in case of multi programming because every time our cpu have one or more processes standing on a queue waiting for their turn right so response time can also be reduced when we use multi programming what does it mean is we have only one processor if we program if we make use of multiple processes simultaneously or we use multiple processes together so definitely it will reduce the response time of the processes or cpu okay next is the disadvantage of using multi programming operating system so this system provide an environment in which various system resources are used efficiently but they do not provide any user interaction with computer system so there is no directly interaction no direct interaction of users with this operating system okay so this is the disadvantage of using multi programming operating system next we have uh students if you want the simple statement for this 
it is it multi programming operating systems has the ability to execute multiple programs using of only one processor machine so this is the basic statement if you remember this then everything will be very easier to all of you okay next is multi processing operating system so these type of operating systems are used in our systems to boost the performance of multiple cpu to boost the performance of multiple cpus within single computer system in a single computer system we have let's say multiple cpus so that means we are talking about multi processing operating systems multi cpus are linked together so that a job can be divided and executed more quickly so what does it mean is multiple cpus are all connected to each other and suppose if i i enter some process to my cpu it will automatically split this process into multiple sessions and all the cpus will work together to complete this its request okay so all these cpus work together to complete the request of this process p1 in case of multi processing we have some different types that is shared nothing first type is shared nothing multiple multi processing operating system another is shared disk multi processing another is shared memory cluster and fourth type is shared memory multi processing operating systems so another two important points that you should know about multi processing operating system first is smp it uses smp and amp smp means symmetric multi processing and amp means asymmetric multi processing next time we have is multitasking operating system okay so in case of multitasking operating system it refers to logical extension of a programming system that enables multiple programs simultaneously and they allow users to run many programs simultaneously in case of multitasking operating system it allow a user to run their multiple tasks to run their multiple tasks all together it enables a user to complete multiple computer tasks at the same time right so multitasking is done when one person handles more than one task at the same time this is the real life example for example a person can uh, chewing gum while walking sending emails during a meeting uh, also they can talk on the phone while watching the television all these are what all these are an example of multitasking so it allow a user to perform more than one computer task at the same time for example let's say in my computer system i am listening to songs i am uploading some videos i am sending emails to my uh, boss i am doing so many tasks all together okay so this is an example of multitasking so we have basically two types of multitasking preemptive and cooperative advantages of using this operating system was this is more suited to supporting multiple users simultaneously if you want your work to get completed fast right so then you can use multitasking multitasking operating systems also have well defined memory management note this point they have well defined memory management right so all these types are very important so we have discussed multitasking operating system also next four types we will discuss in next video so if you like the session comment below and thank you so